oh boy, a new Sonic game is coming out. And it actually looks interesting and has a serious tone, unlike the past few games. They have Sonic, of course, but they also have classic Sonic, and you can make your own custom character. Whoa, that's really cool. Whoa, and they even bought, brought back a lot of the villains like Shadow and Chaos. Boy, I wonder what they'll do with them. I honestly can't wait for this game to come out. You think this is funny? In a cosmic sort of way, yes. Well, Mr. Funny Man, is this how you get your sick kicks? What? It's just an ordinary crabby- OH MY GOODNESS! SQUIDWARD! Sup guys, Jacob Gamer Vlogs here, and today, I finished playing Sonic Forces again. I did not enjoy it. Wait a minute, now that I finished Sonic Forces, I can go and touch grass! Ah, that's better. Uh, finally touch grass after playing Sonic Forces. So, uh, yeah, Sonic Forces, released in 2017, was supposed to bring the franchise back to its roots. And, well, it didn't. Let's just say that. Only one game in 2017 did. Yeah, right here. Yeah, Sonic Forces didn't live up to the hype and expectations of the people. Now, before I continue any further, I have to admit, okay, I'm about to admit a crime. Probably going to go to jail for this. When Sonic Forces came out, I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. In fact, I actually thought it was great. Now wait, before you go to the comments and say, whoa, Jacob likes Sonic Forces. Oh, he has to go, he's going to jail now. This can't, this can't be right. I went back to play some of the older games and I have to admit, I made a mistake. I made a huge mistake thinking this game was actually great. Like, go play some of the older games. Don't play this one if you actually bought this one. Just get a refund and just use that money to buy one of the older Sonic games. They are way better. Alright, for this review, so I'm going to split this video into multiple parts. First, we're going to be talking about the story. Next, the level design. And then afterwards, we'll be talking about the characters individually. Alright, first, we're going to be talking about the story. And somebody get a waste disposal because there was a lot of wasted potential. Together we can show the world what we can do. Alright, so basically the story of Sonic Forces is that Eggman takes over the planet and uh, Sonic and friends join a resistance force to take back the planet. It actually sounds pretty cool, but they barely use this. You just play a bunch of levels that are loosely connected and somehow you just randomly take back the planet. Like somehow you can just run across a level, finish it, and then somehow you take back like 25% of the Earth. like. But you didn't do anything, like they never explained how that happened. And that's basically what this game is, just a bunch of events that was loosely explained and really didn't make sense to start with. There was this video I watched that kind of fixed the Sonic Forces story. So it was actually like how it was supposed to be probably to start with. Uh, I'll link the video in the description, but uh, yeah, definitely go check that out. But you played as like a lot of other people like it would be more like Sonic Heroes but no in this game you just play a Sonic Sonic and a custom character that basically plays the exact same as Sonic and this game they even said that Sonic got tortured which actually would have been a pretty cool concept but when we actually find him he looks completely fine there, that he isn't injured at all oh yeah and then there's that one scene with Tails I'll go ahead and play that hmm, that should have done it couldn't figure it out for you, buddy. I'm sorry I wasn't smart enough. Huh? Whoa, chaos! Sonic, help me! Basically, they just got Sonic Adventure and his storyline shot it in the foot, pissed on its grave, dug it up again, shot it a few more times, buried it again, and then pissed on it some more. They completely butchered a storyline in Sonic Adventure. Basically, they just forgot the game existed. Oh yeah, and then there's this guy named Infinite. Uh, he actually was more powerful than Sonic and defeated him, which is why they captured him in the first place and supposedly tortured him. Yeah, big quotation. 
but uh, it actually sounds like a cool concept, someone that actually defeated Sonic. Yeah, well, he's not an interesting villain, he's boring, he, they just completely butcher him and any interest that we would have otherwise had in him. Bro, he barely even gets a good boss battle. They just kind of throw like a, another recycled boss battle and then, whoa, he's dead, no way. So yeah, basically I don't like the story. Moving on. All right, so I'm gonna test out how bad the level design is by not moving left or right. I'm just gonna be jumping, boosting, and just moving forward. So let's see how bad it is. Yeah, I just beat that level without moving left or right, and I got an S rank, which is a perfect rank in this game. That ain't it, Chief. And even Sonic Unleashed, a game released in 2008, over a decade later before this game, somehow has better level design. Like, bruh, even most of the bosses suck in this game. Like, uh, the first boss against Zavok, you're like, Aw, yeah, first boss battle. This is gonna be sick. No! How could I lose to the likes of you again? That was a blast. Well, that was disappointing. Chili dogs next time. Uh, another boss battle. Maybe this one will be... Oh, nope, this one sucked too. And the infinite boss battle is literally just a carbon copy of Metal Sonic's boss fight, but with slightly different obstacles. They really recycled some stuff, and they didn't recycle good stuff, they recycled trash. However, I will admit, I do kind of have a guilty pleasure with the final boss fight. Pretty epic, yeah? Well, sadly, the rest of the game wasn't like that, but hey, at least the final boss was pretty good. In short, this uh, level design is mediocre at best. There were a few levels I actually did enjoy going back and playing the game, but um, other than that, bosses were kind of bad. Uh, most levels weren't that good, but uh, some standouts were like Null Space. I liked that level. But uh, anyway, moving on. Now it's time to talk about... Out of the four playable characters in this game, Sonic is probably the best playing one in my opinion. And I'll go into detail on why I think that. Well, for starters, he definitely controls the best out of everyone, especially classic Sonic. But I'll get into that later. Personally, I don't like his dialogue in this game, but at least it's not. Hey! I've been looking for you, Baldy McNoah's hair! He acts like a man child, but at least he doesn't act like too childish, unlike the past few games, so. Good job, Sonic Forces, you did it right. 
think the main reason I don't like Sonic's dialogue in this game is his voice actor. They don't get me wrong, I love Roger Craig Smith and his work, but I really think he could have sounded more mature like the older games. He is capable of doing it as seen in Dying Light and many other games that he's been in. I'll play two clips now and you tell me which one sounds better in the comments below. Well, this is new. Showing remorse, Eggman? If you played nice, I wouldn't have to break all your toys. Oh hey, sounds like the party started. Wanna let me go and join in? No? Of course not. You hate fun. So after listening to those voice lines, tell me which one you think sounds better in the comments below. Honestly, I think the old voice actors sound way better. So to sum up his character, I don't really hate Sonic, but I don't really like him either. He's just kind of bland. But it's not completely terrible though, so anyway, moving on to the next character. Now it's time to talk about classic Sonic, and I have to say, he sucks so much, burn him, shoot him, anything, please just get him out of this game. Basically, I have two things to say about classic Sonic. One, removing him from the game would do absolutely nothing to the story, nothing would be changed. And two, Iron Fortress, moving on. So, here we are at the Avatar, probably my favorite edition in this game actually. Unlike most of the game, this actually was executed very well and actually did meet my expectations. Although I wish there were more customization options for the species, maybe like longer quilts for hedgehogs, but hey, they still did a good job with the customization. I think there's over hundreds of items that you can unlock just by doing challenges, which actually does add replayability to the game, which is always good for a Sonic game. He is basically a clone of Sonic, like control wise so of course I'll like his gameplay. He actually has a few more features than Sonic like he has a Wispin that acts as like a weapon that you can use so the first one you start out with is a burst weapon that works as like a flamethrower and it's actually pretty cool. And there's also a few others you can unlock along the way. Honestly not a bad feature. This is definitely one of the redeeming qualities of this game. Not that this is the worst game ever but uh, it's definitely not one of the best. But this definitely is one of the better features in this game, so yeah. Well, finally finished the review, so uh, yeah, bye. Yep, that's right, there's DLC for Sonic Forces. This DLC has Shadow go through some of the levels we've been through before, but kind of like a remixed version. So it's almost like an encore mode. Now some may kind of complain about how they're using the same environments and scenarios, but I actually don't think it's that bad because it's a prequel. Although changing it up a little bit more would have been nice. Honestly, as uh, DLC goes, it kind of improved on the base game. They actually started to improve the level design. Not bad. I actually struggled to get some of the S ranks on here, which is also a good thing because I don't want to just go through Sonic levels and get S ranks like it's candy. So yeah, this DLC improved things pretty good from the base game. Although Shadow does control like Sonic, he also did in the older games, so I can't really complain there. Honestly, not a bad DLC and definitely a welcome addition to this game. Look, look are, are we done with this game? Oh wait, we actually are? Oh, that's pretty cool. In the end, I kind of started to enjoy this game. It's not great, obviously. It's definitely not great. It had a very weak story, mediocre gameplay and level design. Pretty clunky controllers, especially with classic Sonic. But uh, other than that, I know that sounds like I'm nitpicking, but it's not. When you play a game, trust me, you really notice it. And I know I sounded really critical with this video, but honestly, I don't think this game is a bad game. It was just very, what's the word? Ah uh, yes, had a lot of wasted potential. This game could have brought back the franchise, but instead it divided it even more than before. So if I were to have to give this game a rating, I would give it a 6 out of 10. Not the worst game, not the best game. I definitely did enjoy my time, and I definitely didn't enjoy my time. Kind of mediocre, not mediocre, you know. 
this is one of the mo- more mediocre games I've ever actually ever played. Like I'm, I kind of have mixed opinions on this game, and it's kind of hard to express how I feel about this game. Even though I felt negative, there definitely are good things. So when I was joking about getting a refund, if you enjoy Sonic Forces, that's good for you. Power to you. If you dislike the other games, I don't care. It's your opinion, okay? People can have opinions. So if you like this game, good. If you hate this game, good. Let's go! I finished this video before Sonic Origins came out. Woo! Yeah, baby! We did it! Okay, cool. Anyway, uh, I'm looking forward to Sonic Origins tomorrow. And uh, maybe you guys are too. Uh, Tell me if you are down in the comments below. So anyway, thanks for watching today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.